This next model is a silica holder that I found on Thingiverse. It's called the Inside Spool Silica Container or Inside Spool Silica Holder, something like that. Um, I'll link the thing here so you can go find it and download it yourself and print one if you like it. So I decided to go with this one that I found because I use PETG a lot and the PETG will absorb moisture so you're supposed to store it in a dry environment. So I printed these so they would fit right in the middle of a spool. Um, I printed this out of Amazon Basics PETG so the cap unscrews like so and you put your silica inside. Um, so you can buy bulk silica on Amazon like this here. This was like 30 bucks for five pounds. This would be more than I ever need, especially considering that this, uh, you can dry it back out in your oven and reuse it. Um, this is indicating silica, so it starts out blue and it'll turn kind of a purplish pinkish color over time. Um, so this thing uh, worked out pretty well for me. So it includes a cutout on the top for um, a thermometer hygrometer that the um, that the author linked uh, from Amazon. It's like uh, $15 for five of these little uh, disposable thermometer hygrometers. And they snap right in there and then you can actually monitor the, the conditions inside of where you're storing your filament. I've never seen it go below about 17 so either that's the limit at which the silica gel is working or that's the limit on the electronics inside the hygrometer. Not sure. The conditions in my office right now are about 40 some odd percent so it will bring a container down from 47% humidity down to like 17% according to the gauge. So I'm using it together with this um, This is a Sistema um, Airtight food container that I got on Amazon. These containers were about eight dollars each um, Does include a gasket around the top to seal it um, And then you just take your silica holder drop it in the middle Close it up and it fits uh, one spool of uh, filament pretty well. So that's what I'm doing to store all of my filament. Uh, now I'll show a video of uh, printing these parts from uh, Octolabs on my i3 uh, Mark III original Prusa printer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.